It's a flump. <laughs> it's a flump. <laughs> yep. Oh, the flump. The, the flump. Flump. I guess is the better way to flump. But there's flump a there's a hate there. a... Oh, they're such a stupid beast. Yeah, flumps. Um, yeah. Look, I think we've I'm... had too we've had too many good ones lately. I think we need need a flump. Need a flump. Like yeah. Renowned okay. often for being like the weakest D&D <sighs> monster. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Um, so, you know, they're like a floating they're so... goblin. They're... <laughs> you guys have to talk about this amongst yourselves. Sure, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm Should like, I? I have like no... <laughs> I don't know any... <laughs> I, I got nothing to say. <laughs> 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 Are they like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. So, the fluff is, is a big cylinder with two big stalky eyes coming off the top and then a, like a big gap between them that's its mouth. And then a and then gaggle. Yeah. A yeah, yeah, literally like, yeah, yeah, that, that, literally like that. Yeah, pretty much. And it's they've like, got like teeth. No, it's just in the picture. It's just like a black hole. Oh like, gosh, it's, it, it's not great. They and have then, tongues, uh, you think? Probably not. It's right. up to you, Theo. This is your flump. Well, we can talk about we can, we, we can talk about how they eat in a minute. All right, yeah, uh, go through it. Yeah, draw, you know. uh, underneath off. them, they have like a like a load of tentacles. Like in the second, there's probably I can count like fifteen. They are they are basically jellyfish. Yeah, they're just jellyfish. The tentacle kind oh. of becomes blue at the end of it. It kind of like goes from like a kind of sickly green into like a luminous blue at the end of it. Oh yeah. I, I think mean, they are yeah. bioluminescent. Hang on, I need, yeah. I need to like and they fly, do they they fly, right? Yeah, they can fly. So yeah, they're 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 always flying. Um so actually yeah, the uh Hang the, on. They I think do yeah. glow they do glow faintly, you're correct, and the the colour actually is like a kind of like a mood ring. It like Depends on their mood. <laughs> it, would, it would change colour. I, I think All we right, should talk okay. about the flump for the uninitiated. Yeah, so, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. You're, go describe. Talk about the flump, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work on like some compositional stuff. These are renowned for being terrible, ineffectual creatures that are just kind of a joke on encounter tables, really. And uh, that, I mean, use anything else, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the range out of the way. These things are like a two. <laughs> so at the moment, before we talk about them, are we going to go twos across the board? I'm going three. But... Yeah, I go. I go three because yeah. I think there's worse things. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is not one. But anyway, <laughs> very yeah. much enjoying the mouth still. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, they, they live in the underdark. But they're propelled through the air underdark. by the jets. Uh, who sound but air by the jets? Who sound gives them their name? They kind of go. Oh, they go. They go <laughs> yeah, very good. As they move, flump glows f- uh, faintly, reflecting its mood and its color. Soft pink means it's amused. Deep blue is sadness. Green expresses curiosity, and crimson is anger. And um, where do they expel f- f- air from? It it doesn't. It, it says by the jets. It doesn't actually say. The uh, jets maybe... as in the, as not the sharks. The jets. The game. No, no. I, I would assume from some kind not of like sharks. octopi like mouth. I'm gonna say it's gonna be coming out like from. It, it's they got probably... like the, they got like the dress that octopuses have, and it's gonna be coming from, and the tent. It's gonna be coming at the same place as the tentacles. I think it comes out so the tentacle like, end bits because they're like, like a rocket. It'd be very funny yeah, if it came out its mouth. It the looks down and goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is so difficult. I've not. I don't think there's been an episode where I've done so little. So, like, usually by now I have something more than this. I feel. To be fair, the, the, the tentacles are tubular shaped. So at the end, so I assume that they kind of. Oh, have the, like jets. Oh, yeah, like yeah, je- yeah. Okay, okay. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, they're uh, so sort of far out of their tentacles. Yeah. So. Um, okay, that's kind I of guess interesting. Actually, they they might not need a tongue or teeth because of the way they feed. So they basically uh, <laughs> siphon mental energy from psionic creatures. Oh, why the my mouth then? Um, okay, <laughs> cool. To smile. Yeah, so they can look nice, I guess. Uh, so they they can be found lurking near communities of mind flayers, avalefs, uh, gifyanki, or uh, Yusari. Uh, okay, they're sure. passive parasites. They only take like the mental energy they need. Most creatures don't even notice them feeding, really. Uh... It says that consuming this energy reveals the thoughts and emotions of the creatures of which the flumps feed upon. Since so many of these creatures are evil, flumps are often subjected to thoughts, emotions, and hungers that sicken their pure nature. When flumps encounter good-hearted adventurers, they eagerly share the dark secrets they have learned in the hopes of casting down their evil sources of energy, even if doing so means they must seek out new sources of nourishment. This, this is Norman's face when he <laughs> just hears a dark secret. 
from, from a monster, from a hideous space beast. <laughs> this is how he heard about the mind flare nest. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is during his his mind flare adventure. Mm. Okay, yeah, I like the cannon. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, sure. They're uh, they're intelligent and wise. They have like an int of fourteen. Yeah. What? They yeah. communicate telepathically. Uh, they're sentient beings, but uh, they have knowledge of like religion, philosophy, mathematics, other subjects. Uh, so they they they're actually quite intelligent. Uh, they live in like a perfect society called in groups in called, the underdark in the underdark in groups called cloisters. Oh, these things are so okay. Within, within I'm gonna give which, them a higher one than I within was, which, three uh, two each, now. I each flump say. has a place and a purpose. These harmonious groupings have no need for leaders since all flumps contribute in their own way. <laughs> it, uh, what is this joke? What, what, who is this making fun of? I feel, I, like this is, I feel like this is a political statement being made by someone. Well, it's I saying. Well, I think it's saying that uh, scholars it's, are airheads. I guess it might be. T- it's, it's a bit of a joke at, at that. Isn't Champagne it? socialists. I guess I should have more than one because I, I, I'm, I'm here. And, and if we stopped now, this episode would be like six you minutes could, long. You could have two. You could have two of two different colors. Like one's curious. Yeah, one's... yeah. I was thinking he might have. He might have already attacked one, mm-hmm. and he'll be annoyed. He yeah. won't be dead. How much health do these things have? Uh, they have seven health. Okay, so he's punched one because anything else would kill it. <laughs> and he's got a bruise. <laughs> yeah, and he's and he's upset. You can have uh, it like rubbing rubbing it like a bruise spot unhappily yeah. with one of its tentacles. So yeah, like um. To, to, to say why I ranked Flumps a bit higher than the initial two is that I know of one in uh, Out of the Abyss uh, yeah. where if you bring the gelatinous cube friend with you you can get him to meet oh, a yeah. Flump and they become best friends oh, and <laughs> that's, that's why I was giving it a three I mean uh... <laughs> they're, they're, they're happy little okay. guys they're funny but like I don't even know. How to I think this. what they that... are very good at, oh, and this is this good. is a purpose that they rather uniquely have, yeah. which is that in an into the or out of the underdark setting, they are yeah. an encounter that's not going to be a combat. That is true. It does mean it's a it's a it's a little breath of fresh air in the underdark, which mm. depending on how like serious your campaign is, could be very like nice to have. Yeah, there are very few things in the Underdark that aren't really evil. Yeah, and like, and also like, don't have horrific backstories as well. Yeah, um, like they do have eye stalks, by the way. These guys don't know that isn't. Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, I I hate eye stalks. How are you meant to how are you meant to put an expression on eye stalks? How are you meant to uh, eye floating stalks eyebrows. But they, yeah, I mean, yeah, just go down the. Uh, I mean, they're the, psychic. The, the, Can, the classic rare method, and just do give they, it like. Yeah, do they have? Oh, it's fucking Brezhnev now. <laughs> <laughs> do, do they have like um, spells or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, so we uh, so we can talk about their abilities. They uh, they only attack with their tendrils. Okay. Uh, they haven't got any spells. Oh, um, I was hoping that they could be so manifesting they, eyebrows with magic, but so uh, <laughs> well they they do something else actually. The melee attack does like one d four plus two, but then it does like two like another d four acid damage that they have to make a con save to not take recurring damage from. And they can also once a day spray the, spray someone with their fart gas. Um, yeah. So each creature in a fifteen uh, that... foot cone originating from the flump must succeed in a DC ten dexterity saving throw or be co- coated in a smell, a foul smelling liquid. Yeah, DC ten. DC... You're covered in a horrible stench for one d four hours. The coated creature is poisoned as long as the stench lasts. Which is like you have disadvantage on stuff. Yeah. yeah. From what I remember, poison. Wow, that's very lame. Yeah, this is why when they show up in encounter tables as like two d four flumps, it's usually like number one on the encounter table. If you roll a yeah. one in the d one hundred, it's two d four flumps. But again, they're not going to attack you unless no. you attack them. Also, on a if they're not prone, uh, <laughs> they have to, if they're not prone, they have to roll a die, and if they land, if they make an odd result, they are knocked upside down and are incapacitated. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> I guess they are de- very much deliberately the worst, which is oh. fun. I, 
They're, they're the worst without just being like, does one damage, has eight strength. Yes, they're, they're, des- they're bad and they're designed to be bad and that's like, in a funny way, mm. have they, it's not just, they're not boring, they're just very bad. I mean, fighting mm. like 60 flumps would be very funny. It would be very funny. Also, because you do Thunderwave and they'd all die. <laughs> um, also, any any AOE. But again, I, I think it would be a, a a horrible. If you if you if your party kills the flumps, then that's a. I guess if they're an evil party, that that makes sense. But I think an evil party would be smart to make use of their their evil secrets that they know. Mm. They're not even like enslaved by mind flares. No one cares about them. They're just. I think they're just ignored. They just, just ignored. Don't, they don't matter. They're really smart though. Fourteen intelligence. They got, they got fourteen wisdom as well. That's, could, so, that's really good. It could be very funny. I just thought of another funny encounter where, like, these you've got your four pint members and the flumps come floating up to you guys, like, "Hey guys, how are you guys doing?" And then inside <laughs> yeah, one of the party members' thoughts, he's having like the mind flare lair visions, like, yeah, like, yeah. Got, like Shepard in Mass Effect One. <laughs> 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 and then everyone's like looking at him, and he's like looking at the flumps, and the flumps are staring into his soul. I I hate this. This is such a, not a thing I would draw as well, which is funny. Um, what languages do they have? They speak psych- psychically, though, don't they? So yeah, they, speak, they they understand undercommon, but can't speak, and then they like telepathy, sixty feet. And they eat psychically. So yes. this one's he's being nice, but is he actually? <laughs> well, is is uh, is. Is, Nor- is Norman a psy- is he psionic? I think Norman might be. Getting- oh, is no- does he have to be psionic for? Has to be a psionic creature. That's why. Well, con- they- that's why they-, they exist near like mind flayers and may- stuff. May- maybe, maybe he is. Maybe even he doesn't know that. Spoilers. Maybe. Oh, well, Norman is level one <laughs> every class. Yeah, he's- he is level one mystic. <laughs> exactly. That's gross. What I've just drawn, but I think I'm going to stick with it because it's it's one of the few things that we know about them. So it should go in. Why do they have mouths? They can't talk and they don't eat food. Uh, they they just have a gaping gap in in between their eye stalks. I, I don't know what. I'll put some more floating around in the back. It's a fe- yeah, like a colony on its way through. Well, what, yeah, what, what was the name of their group again? A, a cloister. A cloister. A cloister. <laughs> so yeah, up, as we talked about, we've done flumps and kuatoa, like yeah, two yeah. like possi- two like you know very miniony races in the underdark and the, yeah, like these guys, I, flumps are just very nice. I I have <laughs> used them like once or twice before, but like I, I would never go out of my way to include a flump. <laughs> Yeah, unless it's that breakup of combat, breakup of underdark. Despair. Yeah, if you, if, if if you if you have a really long underdark like campaign, even yeah, I think the flumps are, you need them f- to have something lighthearted it, in there. It could be a very magical experience, like when you see jellyfish bloom. Like that's they, true. They, yeah, I mean, you yeah. could play it straight and not like have them be a complete joke like that. Yeah, like you see a whole colony of them flow by. So hang on, they, in like different colors and stuff. Exactly. They, they, yeah. they, they feed they feed on psychic things. Does that mean? But there's not like loads. Of, does that mean that their main food is mind flares? Uh yeah they 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 yeah basically like ab- or abolifts or like gif yankee. That's a that's a da- that's a dangerous territory, right? Yeah. But I can only assume that the they don't want to be fed on by flumps. I think that they're compl- it's, it's, it's suggested they don't really notice because they uh, they require okay. such little energy that they oh I see okay yeah don't even enough. feel like any loss or discomfort from it at all so they probably and also okay, flumps right. are so it's completely non threatening like, yeah, yeah it's, it's like a, they're like a filter feeder for yeah. that sort of thing well fair enough um, you could have a drunk flump in the middle of a uh, Mind flayer, like uh, that'd be base. Funny. A super super flump. Yeah, he's, he's hu- become huge and fat on psychic energy, and he's just so drunk because presumably he gets drunk on psychic stuff because you know. Yeah, that. what a flump who's who's consumed the elder brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I've I've come around with the flump a little bit. You've convinced me to not say two because they are funny. Uh, so I, I might join you guys on a three. Um, um, are we getting? Are we, are we sticking on those numbers, or do we want to give our an end number? I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna join you guys on three. If you guys have changed your minds at all, 
I'm sticking at three. I th- no, I, I'm not, I'm not going to change. I'm sticking at three. I think that I thought of three points that make Thlumps all right, so they get a three. I think that's fair. I, I think that they have one very necessary role, and that is it. Can it I, I feel like, can it be like a nice three, though? Because it is a three, but I, I do oh, kind of I, 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 I like them. Well, as like, we said, like the, the Zvar is hilarious and, and fun and great in lots of ways, and you could definitely yeah. have a lot of fun with it. But it is terrible, and it's and that was the, it was a three or a four. I mean, I don't um, want a Svart riding a flump. Oh my god! Can you imagine? If I, don't wanna, a, I don't want. I don't want to use him wanna, like cavalry. Yeah. I don't want a poor flump to be anything anywhere near a Svart. He's grabbing hold of the ice stalks, using them like gear sticks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta free the flumps from the Svart. <laughs> Now, now that's a now that's a campaign. That's a one shot, guys. I'll write that. I'll put that together. I'll make a design, well, make a be... ninety page campaign book. It could, be... <laughs> it could be fun, you know, when you're fighting for the Zvarts to have, you know, the regular Zvarts as the Warlock Zvarts, and then there's like Zvarts who've tamed like Flumps, and then you know, you have the big bad Zvart at the end. That is a one shot right there. Have I you guys ever eaten like... Flumps? I'm sure it'd be delicious. There is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. I like his cape. Normal. Well, he's got a cape in some versions of him. I, sometimes I just, I don't think I've ever drawn it in an actual episode. But I, there it is. He's got a cape today. Oh. He's he's cold in the underdark. Probably. Brain in. <laughs> Brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, it's psychic energy. So why does it have to look like anything, like yeah. intelligent? I like this I'm liking thought. all the different colours in the back and like how that's kind of dividing up the image. <laughs> yeah, again, it's a. Uh, if I'd spent, I could have spent like days doing this and made it like whoa, but then it'd been like, oh, it's the flump. I didn't want to spend oh. like twenty hours on this, so I, I spent like, the like den. six. Oh, what in um in uh, the, the fist background flump's <laughs> face? Oh yeah, there's a proper a proper fist shape in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really Gods. have just drawn jellyfish though. Like I did look up the flump, like the the official art, and like they're not actually just jellyfish. No. But, um, but well, you, that's got what the, I did. you got the flagellum really correct and like yeah. the uh, the eye stalks and stuff. And I like the one <laughs> farting away into the distance. The third edition I think art for them is horrific. <laughs> they're like they got mouths all around them. Ooh. Like a like a it's I don't know. It's some. It's they're pretty Horrendous. horrific. The 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 third edition flumps. The other thing, of course, is that they they don't shoot out gas. They shoot out just like air. But that it's dusty. Yes, you know, yes, it's, yeah. Or it's, it's cold it's, and it's producing it's co- dusty condensation. Cave. Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's totally true. It's a visually. It's a visual thing. <laughs> I think I stick by my rating for flump. Yeah, I think we're all we all said like a three, right? Yep. Yeah. I think that's another all across the board agreement. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had that for a while. We have consensus. I can't think of any way to do an outro that's relevant to flumps. Uh, um, if you've got mm, bad thoughts in your head that need eaten up, is that what they feed on again? They feed on thoughts. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. A lot of the time they're bad because the underdark is horrible. I guess that makes sense. You don't no bad thoughts here. Yeah. Only good stuff. Only so good. subscribe. Only subscribe for it. Yeah. Like if you like flumps, give a like. If you don't if you like dis- flumps, <laughs> press the bell button. <laughs> if you're indifferent, subscribe. <laughs> and if and if you hate this outro, do all of them. Yeah. Do all do, those things. Do them all. Leave, to show leave, us to prove leave, us wrong. If you hate this outro, leave a comment. But don't comment on the fact that the outro is bad just comment on if, it if you think this is too long and rambling share it to a friend yeah, yeah share, it, share it with a friend <laughs> if you don't like uh, the outro leave a comment telling us how much you like this episode 